Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on Monday's trading session, the 13th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's uh, see exactly what the numbers are for European uh, uh, data or European stats. A FTSE 100 up 27 odd points, uh, led mainly by the uh, potential uh, uh, takeover talk of uh, uh, AMEC and uh, Bovis, both up almost 10% on takeover rumours. That certainly has negated the uh, stronger sterling and weaker oil uh, thesis. Okay, given the, also given the fact that we have the FOMC certainly raising rates as well, certainly hurting commodities. So commodity weakness, sterling strength certainly has negated has been negated by the bullish arguments of a uh, Bolvis and uh, the AMEC potential bid. Also, we had uh, HSBC management change as well. Certainly sent the shares of, uh, obviously, HSBC higher. Asian markets relatively higher across the board. In terms of Asian session, we had the Nikkei up 29 points, more or less flat. The Hang Seng up 1.1%, the Shanghai up 0.7% today. So certainly a stellar move in the Chinese markets. Now, also news with regards to Intel buying Mobileye. Certainly helping the Nasdaq and uh, Kuwait potentially supporting an oil output court extension going forward. Okay, now in terms of negative news, negative news certainly is um, outweighing the bearish, uh, but the markets are choosing to ignore that at the moment. You have uh, Merkel Trump tax retaliation plan, which I've discussed over the weekend. Uh, China trade wars, or uh, certainly uh, an assertion to a potential trade war. Again, that hasn't really had the impact that I was expecting in the Asian markets. Okay, uh, Draghi potential hawkish stance. His uh, his speech has gone uh, ignored basically, uh, unnoticed. Uh, market certainly hasn't paid any attention at all. We must address weak productivity in the eurozone, says Mr. Draghi. So no uh, comments with regards to potentially raising rates prior to uh, QE tapering. Okay, uh, Baker Hughes oil rig count certainly on the increase in the US as well. Therefore, increased supply and therefore bearish. ECB raising rates, which I've discussed as well. Uh, Munchin. Uh, Steve Munchen, currency devaluation. So again, he's going to put forth the uh, currency devaluation message uh, and certainly is going to go ahead with his potential protectionism and trade barriers as well. So again, ne ne negative for uh, global trade. Italian industrial production certainly came in weaker and Le Pen certainly is gaining ground in the uh, opinion way polls. So for my understanding, given the fact that Mr. Draghi's hawkish stance still exists, you have the euro at 1.0670 at the moment. His speech is over and done with now. Uh, the biggest risk, I think, uh, which I forgot to mention, really, is the uh, Scottish referendum. Miss Sturgeon certainly uh, chaired a press conference today and uh, indicated that she was going to seek uh, permission for a, um, a second referendum next week. And again, that adds to political uncertainty in the UK. And therefore, the one would presume it would be bearish for the FTSE 100. OK, so let's look at the actual index itself. Weekly chart, the FTSE of this rising contracting wedge type pattern. Still consolidating within that green candle, but again, like I said, this political uncertainty expected to weigh. A daily chart at the moment certainly still uh, uh, maintaining its bullish posture, staying above previous resistance equals support, but again, that's certainly vulnerable to, to this potential second Scottish referendum. 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100, we have a double top or horizontal resistance here at the key re resistance at uh, 7370, so therefore look for further weakness. 10 minute chart, obviously you have a resistance here and therefore looking for the market to move lower. Even with Sturgeon's potential comments of a second referendum, the market certainly has kept uh, kept strong, which is very, very impressive. But again, looking for further weakness uh, going forward, okay, in terms of the uh, the actual FTSE itself, especially given the fact that Sterling today certainly has risen. You can see here daily chart holding that 75% uh, support zone, certainly short squeezing higher. As you can see, the 60 minute chart, you're above that 1.22 level now in terms of Sterling, and therefore it's net net negative for the FTSE itself. Okay, looking at the German DAX, certainly has bounced from that pivot low. Okay, daily chart at the moment, you've held that double top at uh, 12.070, that's expected to hold. Uh, in terms of the next potential move, 60-minute chart, the German DAX, you have a potential H&S formation brewing now. Let's just watch how far the right shoulder can go. Now, if I use the Fibonacci retracement, take it from the pivot high, pivot low, we're currently in that Fib 50% range, okay? We have put in a potential topping tail already on the German DAX. You do have horizontal resistance in this region, okay, around the 12,000 region, 12,010. 
So certainly watch for further downside. That's what I would certainly be looking for in terms of the German DAX, especially given the fact that we've confirmed that potential pivot low, a lower high. Okay, now looking for a lower low. In terms of the 10 minute chart of the German DAX at the moment, you currently have horizontal resistance here at 12,005. If we continue to thrust, thrust higher than 12,035, you have resistance at 12,060 and then 12,070. So watch out for those key resistance zones above in terms of the German DAX. Okay, now looking at the French CAC now, especially given the fact that uh, Miss Le Pen certainly gaining ground in the opinion polls. Okay, that certainly is net, net negative. Looking at the weekly chart, we know we're into resistance on the French CAC, the daily chart as well. Uh, topping tail on Friday, that certainly is going to be the potential top here, from my understanding. 60-minute chart is looking for the lower lower high now, and then obviously looking to test that or close that gap at 4980, which has yet to be closed. Okay, 10-minute chart on the French CAC again. The unfilled gap really is really beckons below, and potentially even lower back down to 4940. So. For my interpretation, certainly bias remains bearish, okay? Last but not least, the euro stocks. Okay, let's bring up the euro stocks here, folks. Looking at the daily chart, the euro stocks, you have a topping tail, okay? So daily chart on Friday was a topping tail, thereby indicating resistance and weakness, and therefore looking to fall. 60-minute chart, at the moment, really, you're in no man's land. One would presume you're going to make a lower high and then a lower low, so watch out for that, especially given the fact that Mr. Sturgeon certainly has thrown in another uh, curveball in terms of the uh, potential Brexit scenario being rekindled. Okay, so uh, really, from my perspective, uh, the uh, FTSE certainly is into resistance. The Euro stocks and DAX certainly all indicating weakness, especially with the topping tails on Friday on the French CAC and the Euro stocks, and therefore looking to potentially move lower on the back of a hawkish Draghi. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.